The suicide of Robin Williams hit me really hard um, for reasons that aren't entirely reasonable. Um, I was just struck by the idea that such a such a brilliant creator, such a brilliant uh, entertainer, would be in a, pos a position where he like he found ending his life to be his best his best option at that moment, uh, or even honestly his best option. It made me think about the people that are actually in our lives. Robin Williams wasn't actually a part of my life, uh, although the things that he created, the things that he was a part of, helped me deal with different issues that I was facing at different points in my life. Um, but it made me think about the people that are in our lives, whether it's directly and uh, closely and directly or um, distantly and tangentially. And uh, as I was thinking about this, I was reminded of a friend with whom I had this arrangement when we were both going through kind of a weird time in our lives, a very, very sort of transitive, uh, transitive, not transitive, uh, transitional part of our lives. Uh, and we made a deal that if either one of us called the other one on the phone, uh, we would always answer the phone. We would only talk for two minutes. And that would just be that would just be our arrangement. Anything after two minutes was bonus time, and either one of us had the right to hang up after two minutes. Uh, and it having having someone like that in my life really helped. Uh, I don't know, get past some of the the weirder parts of growing up, the weirder parts of transitioning into adulthood. And so uh, the reason that I'm saying all of this uh, is because recently I got. Uh, I was tagged in an ice bucket challenge. Now, uh, I, re I read recently that the, uh, the ALS Foundation has, or I don't know if it's a foundation, the, the, the group that is researching, um, researching the, the disease ALS is, uh, has received uh, $115 million in support, of their, in support of their cause, and I think that that's amazing. Um, but I'm actually going to use the ice bucket challenge. Originally, before it became uh, attached to the uh, attached to the cause of AL, fighting ALS, uh, it was just a uh, it was just a donation to a charity of your choosing, or um, or dump a bucket of ice on your head. In light of the oncoming winter, I would actually like to propose a new challenge: ten dollars, two minutes, or both. Ten dollars. To the charity of your choice, uh, if someone if someone contacts you in relationship to this uh, to this challenge, not very not very difficult, and not something that would adversely affect your wallet, because I feel like some people have uh, elected not to donate because they felt like they couldn't handle a hundred dollar a hundred dollar dip in their checking or savings account. Um, so ten dollars to ten dollars to a charity of your choice, two minutes on the phone with a person that you've lost touch with, that you kind of regret having lost touch with. So just deciding that I will pick up the, I'll pick up the phone and just talk to them for two minutes. And you could even say that at the beginning. Hey, I just wanted to talk, catch up with you for two minutes, say hi, tell you, the, tell you how I'm doing, uh, and find out what else is going on in your life. Maybe, just maybe, uh, it'll be a person that you needed to catch up with for some particular reason. It could be, um, just the thing that you need or just the thing that they need. Uh, or both. You could make a donation to the charity of your choice and then call someone and talk for two minutes about your, about your generous donation of $10. Uh, but that's just something that I've been thinking about. And so uh, I hope that you will at least consider, consider uh, engaging in the $10 or two minutes uh, challenge. Nevertheless, I'm almost certain that both of the people that tagged me in the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge did it because they know of my extreme aversion to cold and how much I would absolutely hate the idea of dumping ice cold water on myself. So, as not to disappoint, I am going to dump uh, a bucket of ice water on myself. Uh, for the record, when I got to the store, they were completely out of the small bags of ice, and so I had to get a full-sized bag of ice, uh, the, the, the big giant ba sized bag of ice. 
And so this is going to be horrible. I'm actually more concerned with the idea of hurting myself than of actually getting cold. So we'll see how this whole thing works out. I'm also a little concerned that I won't be able to lift it.